Convenient, versatile, and tasty, bread is a daily staple for many of us. But no matter how much you love bread, sadly, not all breads will love you back. Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie. With so many varieties of bread lining grocery store shelves these days, it can be hard to figure out which ones are the best. There are countless loaves that claim to be healthy because they contain whole grains and pack fiber. But in reality, they sneak in high amounts of sodium, sugar, and refined flours. These will offer your body absolutely no nutrition. There are other ones that are loaded with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Heck, they may also contain nuts and seeds that make them even better for you. And in today's video, we'll tell you all about the healthiest breads out there, from sourdough, flax, rye, oat to soda, and more. Watch until the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Ezekiel Bread Ezekiel bread stands out among most varieties because it's made without added sugar and from sprouted whole grains. The sprouting process increases the amount of vitamin C and minerals like folate and lysine in it. This makes it a bona fide nutritional powerhouse. It's also an amazing choice for vegetarians because it's made from wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, and spelt. When these six grains and legumes are sprouted and combined, they create a complete protein similar to what's found in milk and eggs. It's also high in quality, containing all nine essential amino acids. What's more, sprouted grains are easily tolerated by people with grain protein sensitivities. They may also help fight diabetes, protect against fatty liver disease, and reduce your risk for heart issues. Would you rather bake a healthy bread at home or buy it directly from the store? Tell us quickly down below in the comments section. Number 2. Sourdough Bread Sourdough typically made from just four ingredients, flour, water, salt, and starter culture, is easier to digest and highly nutritious. It's the starter combined with a long fermentation which holds the key to its taste, texture, and health credentials. The starter is a mix of flour and water which is fermented by wild yeasts and lactic acid bacteria. This makes the sourdough rise. Traditional sourdough undergoes a slow fermentation process, the result of which is an increase in the availability of the bread's vitamins and minerals. This process also starts the breakdown of protein, making sourdough easier to digest. That said, when made from a gluten grain, it's not suitable for those with celiac disease. Although the beneficial microbes in the starter tend to be lost during the baking process, the fiber and plant compounds called polyphenols become more available. These act as an important fuel source for your gut microbes, which makes sourdough gut-friendly. In addition to this, and unlike many commercially produced breads, it has less of an impact on blood sugar levels. Number 3. 100% Whole Wheat Bread Whole grains keep the entire grain intact, including the germ, endosperm, and bran. The bran, which is the hard outer layer, is high in fiber. The bran and germ also contain protein, fat, vitamins, and minerals, and beneficial plant compounds, while the endosperm is mostly starch. Whole wheat grains are higher in fiber, and that's why they're considered more nutritious than refined grains, which have been processed to remove the bran and germ. Whole grains have been linked to numerous health benefits, including a decreased risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and certain cancers. However, it is important to note that many manufacturers label breads whole wheat so they appear healthier even though they mostly consist of refined flour. Look for breads that have 100% whole wheat or whole grain flour listed as their first ingredient, and don't sneak unnecessary ingredients such as added sugars or vegetable oils. Number 4. Gluten-Free Bread Gluten-free bread doesn't have grains like wheat, rye, or barley. Instead, it's a mix of gluten-free flours such as brown rice, almond, coconut, tapioca, potato, or corn flours. It's good for people who need to avoid gluten, like those with signs of celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. When manufacturers remove gluten, they add other ingredients to compensate to make the bread chewy and have texture. So gluten-free bread often has refined flours, added sugars, gums, and tapioca starch. These can cause gas, bloating, diarrhea, and gastrointestinal issues. Number 5. Pumpernickel Bread This is a traditional German bread with a heavy texture and a distinctive flavor. Made from whole grain rye flour, pumpernickel is packed with stress-busting B vitamins, plant compounds called lignans, as well as fiber. Traditionally made from a sourdough starter and a coarse whole grain rye flour, it's rich in resistant starch, which supports gut health and lowers the bread's glycemic index. But make sure you check the labels because many commercial varieties include wheat flour, molasses, and yeast. Number 6. Flax Bread 
Flax uses whole grain flours and flax seeds. It contains omega-3 fatty acids that are good for your heart health. It's especially a great option for vegans who need more healthy fatty acids in their diet. These super seeds are also a good source of fiber, protein, and antioxidants. One study found that eating flaxseed bread and other flax foods may benefit digestion-related health issues. Number 7. Rye Bread Rye bread is made with rye flour, which comes from a wheat-like plant. It's lower in fat and contains less gluten than wheat, which makes it a denser, heavier loaf. It's rich in lignans, which are plant compounds that have been linked with a wide range of health benefits, including a reduced risk of heart disease, menopausal symptoms, osteoporosis, and breast cancer. Whole grain rye bread has also been shown to reduce body weight, improve insulin sensitivity, and lower total cholesterol levels. A study found that people who ate rye bread for breakfast experienced decreased hunger and desire to eat eight hours later, compared to those who ate wheat bread. Number 8. Multigrain Bread Just like whole wheat and whole grain are different, so too are multigrain and whole grain breads. Whole grain means all parts of the grain kernel, the bran, germ, and endosperm are used to make the bread or product. Multigrain, like 7 or 12 grain bread, means the food has more than one type of grain, although they might not all be whole grains. You want to choose multigrain bread with whole grains. Number 9. Oat Bread One of the newest types of bread on the grocery store scene is oat bread. It contains both oats and whole wheat flour as the primary ingredients. If cauliflower can turn into pizza, then your favorite breakfast food can absolutely turn into a bread. The best part is there are already plenty of benefits to eating oatmeal. Oats are high in nutrients like magnesium, zinc, and iron. Plus, the high fiber content may help lower cholesterol levels and decrease high blood pressure. The reason oat bread is so healthy is due to the presence of, well, you guessed it, oats. They have plenty of other health benefits as well. Learn more about what they are by watching this video titled 14 Important Health Benefits of Oats That Will Surprise You. Now back to the healthy bread you should eat regularly. Number 10. Soda Bread This is a traditional staple in Ireland and made simply from flour, buttermilk, baking powder, and salt. This loaf is quick to prepare and a low-in-fat, yeast-free option. If you're new to baking or short on time, it's an ideal loaf to bake at home. Number 11. Spelt Bread Spelt is an ancient type of wheat that originates from the Middle East. It's recently become more popular on the healthy eating circuit due to its low gluten levels. Spelt bread has a characteristically nutty flavor and due to its substantial texture can make you feel full for longer. What should you look for when choosing a healthy bread? Number 1. Choose bread made from unrefined whole grain flour. Labeling can be deceiving, so even if your loaf is labeled multigrain, 100% wheat or organic, this does not guarantee that it's whole grain, so always check the ingredients list to confirm this. Number 2. Select a bread with minimal ingredients. The length of the ingredient list reveals a lot about the baking method and processes used to manufacture. In simple terms, look for the shortest ingredient list with terms you recognize and avoid breads with added sweeteners or vegetable oils. Number 3. Use your loaf and know what you're looking for. Sourdough is a hot ticket right now, but if you don't make your own or buy from an artisan baker, there are some things to look out for. Sometimes manufacturers can sell bread as sourdough despite it not being made using the all-important slow fermentation method. Some bread includes ingredients like yeast, ascorbic acid, vinegar, and yogurt in an attempt to mimic the flavor of sourdough, speed up the production time, and extend the shelf life. If you want to enjoy the benefits of true sourdough, check labels and avoid these ingredients. Number 4. One of the best ways to ensure your bread is a healthy choice is, of course, to make your own. That way you know exactly how the bread was made and the ingredients that were used. While these types of bread can do your health a world of good, there are other unhealthy foods and drinks that are masquerading as healthy that you should be wary of. Learn more about what they are by watching unhealthy foods that should never be in your kitchen or finding out about drinks that are surprisingly unhealthy and you should not drink. These two videos will definitely help you pick up things that are actually good for your body. So go ahead and pick a video or watch them both for maximum benefits. What's your favorite bread? Is it healthy or unhealthy? Let us know in the comments section.